Welcome to the first module of Fundamentals of Machine Learning. Now in this video, we'll be looking at what is machine learning, what are the types of machine learning along with some of its applications. So as we know that machine is a non-living thing, right? So it can't learn by itself. So we need to input some process so that it can learn through itself. So machine learning is actually an ability of machine to learn by itself. So it's actually a branch of computer science which deals with the construction and study of systems that can learn from data. So the machines learn from the data which we input and then it can train the data so that we can get the desired output. So that is what we call as machine learning. Now let's understand how does machine learning works. So let's say there is a person called as John. So what John does is that he listens to various songs he listens to many songs of different genres different gender voices and different tempo and different intensities different pitches right so let's consider uh, two factors that is a tempo and a intensity so basically john likes the songs which have fast tempo and a soaring intensity while he dislikes the song which has relaxed tempo and a light intensity so you can see tempo is designed on the x-axis whereas the y-axis contains the intensity ranging from light to soaring whereas the tempo is ranging from relaxed to fast so as you see these data points this set of data lies in the fast and soaring right in the region of fast tempo and the soaring intensity so we can tell that this is the region of songs which John would like and basically this is a song set of songs or set of data points which John would not like because it's lying in the region of relaxed tempo and a light intensity so basically any set of data lying between the fast uh, tempo and a soaring intensity any point lying here we can tell through this method that John would definitely like that song whereas uh, any song lying in the region of relaxed tempo and a light intensity we can tell that John will not like the song so it's easy so let's uh, name this reason as A and this reason as B so let us consider any song that is lying between A and B, right? So let's name this data as C. Now, can you tell that will John like the song or not? So basically, this is where the machine learning comes into play. So how do we determine that whether the John will like the song or not? So basically, what we can do is we can draw a circle around the region C in order to find exactly will uh, the John like the song or not so what we need to do is we need to draw a circle around this point B sorry C right so once we draw the circle we get that there is a maximum number of data points lying on the region A whereas there is only one data point lying on the base region B so through proba maximum probability we can tell that John will definitely like the song so it's a very simple algorithm of machine learning that is the k nearest neighbor algorithm so this is very uh, easy and you can understand how exactly the machine learning comes into play and what exactly is the working mechanism of machine learning so it learns through data right so it learns through input of data and when you train that data then that data can perform a set of operations which we require so that is what we call that machine solves the problem by themselves and that is what we term as machine learning i hope you have understood this so now let's move on to the point that why exactly is machine learning important <laughs> So machine learning is uh, emerging field, right? So by 2030, it is estimated that almost 28 to 35 million jobs will be created in the field of artificial intelligence and machine learning. So it's uh, definitely a good subject to learn through and explore. And it is quite interesting as well. Let's look at some of the points why machine learning is actually important. So it's basically used to develop a system which can automatically adapt and customize themselves to individual users so as we can see in the gmail right you, we, every one of us use gmail so basically what happens is if any uh, fraud is detected or any sort of unauthorized email is sent to you then that directly goes on to spam spam folder right so this is also there is a working of algorithm of machine learning working behind this so it identifies the mail as a uh, spam or genuine mail so genuine mail is sent to your inbox whereas the uh, un unauthorized mails and is sent to your spam right so this is what yeah, machine learning does another thing is that suppose uh, you like anything your interest is science and technology so you can see the posts related to science and technology when you scroll so that is also through machine learning it determines the um, input from user and it sets the output 
using the input right now the second point is that it discover new knowledge from large databases so what do you mean by this it's actually used in prediction of market right so what it does is it takes a huge amount of data from market and then we can easily predict what will, would be the future price of the market so it's basically used in the market analysis stock market pricing and all of sort those things third thing is that it is able to mimic the human behavior so machine learning is what it it does actually um, try to learn as human does right but humans are far more advanced in terms of learning than machine right but machines are basically they are more they have more computing powers than human but um, in terms of uh, learning humans are way ahead of machines so today's machines are not that advanced and these works on certain simple algorithms through which they work so it's actually able to mimic the human and replace certain monotonous tasks which require some intelligence for example we can tell that handwriting recognition so we, we humans actually can't uh, it's it's certain type of a very difficult task you know to match the handwriting so what machine learning does is that it can easily separate uh, and tell whose handwriting is this so it's basically using the handwriting recognition the face recognition speech recognition etc that is where machine learning comes into play so there are a lot and lot more scope and lot and lot applications of machine learning so it's very good for you to learn into now let's look at what are the types of machine learning so basically there are three types of machine learning there are the supervised learning the unsupervised learning and the reinforcement learning now let's look at what exactly is supervised learning so supervised learning is a type of machine learning which needs a tutor for example in classroom when you go to classroom a teacher teaches you and then you learn so that is exactly what supervised learning means that is it needs a teacher to learn right for example you have a data you have a certain set of data and when you train that data using a tutor then it can learn by itself and then perform the certain tasks for example uh, in a classroom when teacher teaches you 2 plus 2 equal to 4 and 3 plus 3 equal to 6 and then you have given a new problem that is 9 plus 5 equal to what so basically by analyzing these two process and these two information you can actually analyze what exactly is 9 plus 5 right so that is what exactly the machine does it does analyze the informations and instructions provided by the tutor to actually provide the uh, output so supervised learning is actually a model a simple model where a teacher supervisor is required right so it's uh, basically a pattern for training set now based on the training set what does system do it learns and generates a concept to classify any sort of patterns any sort of objects it can classify it for example you can see here the labels are exactly hexagon triangle square so these are the labels given to that and these are the labeled data basically these are the types of data right so you input the data as many rectangles many hexagons and all and when you train the model then it can predict using testing and finally it can give you output that whether this is a square or whether this is a triangle so this is actually called as tutoring right this is actually called as tutoring now let's look at what exactly is unsupervised learning so unsupervised learning is a type of learning where there is no explicit teacher or supervisor component in an unsupervised system right so the system learns by itself by using trial and error now for instance uh, based on similarity the, there are many sort of unsupervised learning called as clustering and also basically uh, the clustering we will learn in our upcoming video lectures now for example uh, that when we encounter animal we have not seen any earlier now we often use the trial and error to group the unknown animals right so that is what exactly the computer does uh, it uses the trial and error so that uh, it can classify the data and give you the desired output now this process is also called as natural grouping now based on supervised learning the users should provide the number of clusters they desire so we will learn about clustering in our upcoming lecture so basically what you understand by supervised learning is that the data is trained by itself basically in a classroom you can tell that the topper or some students uh, do not learn by tutor right? they learn by themselves and they pass the exam so that is a perfect example of unsupervised learning now let us look at what is reinforcement learning so reinforcement learning is a very simple type of learning right for example in the reinforcement learning the output of the learning system is binary 
So basically what happens is in, in the reinforcement learning, let me give an example of this. So let's say a teacher asks a certain question, for example, 5 plus 6 equal to what? Now some students answer this as 11 and someone asks, sorry, gives answer as 12, right? So 11 will get a prize, 11 will get a reward, whereas 12 will get a punishment. 12 will get a punishment, right? So this is what exactly reinforcement learning means. So it uh, prov you provide a certain set of data to it. Now when the output is uh, wrong, then it tries to improve back. It tries to improve the um, processing, right? But when uh, the output is right, then what happens is it uh, rewards itself. So this is what exactly the reinforcement learning means. Now let us understand what is deep learning. So deep learning is actually a subset of machine learning which uses artificial neural networks, right? So what exactly is artificial neural network? So it's actually a set of mathematical functions that can be trained to collectively learn the more complex functions. So the basic, uh, it's artificial neural network is same like a human brain. It works like a human brain. Now what exactly is deep learning is that it's a subset of machine learning. So basically understanding and easily understanding, we can say that deep learning tries to mimic the human behavior. Now it's widely used in uh, the image recognition and other speech recognition and other types of processes. So that is what deep learning is. Now what we know from this figure that the artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning. So artificial intelligence is the umbrella branch, right? It's an umbrella branch which deals with the understanding of the computer systems which learn by themselves. Now machine learning is also a subset of AI and deep learning is a subset of machine learning, right? So it's, it's like this. So deep learning is a subset of machine learning. So we can tell through the, this figure, right? So machine learning, uh, this it uh, learns by itself and performs the tasks. Whereas deep learning refers to a large databases. Deep learning is also machine learning, but it is used in the case of very, very large databases. For example, in image processing, you have a large set of images where you use the deep learning method. But that is the basic difference between AI, machine learning and deep learning. Now let's look at some of the applications of machine learning. Now first application is used in the autonomous vehicles, right? So we have heard the name of the company as Tesla, right? So Tesla, what does it do is it produces a self-driving vehicle. So it actually uses the principle of machine learning, right? So machine learning, what does first thing do, the machine do? It's that it learns driving. First thing is that. And through using the computer vision and all sort of other image processing techniques and other machine learning algorithms, it can drive by itself, right? So it's basically used in autonomous vehicles, which is the self-driving vehicles. And different companies have been producing uh, various sorts of uh, self-driving cars, BMW, Google, and Tesla. These are the companies which are working on the field of uh, the uh, self-creation of self-driving cars. So these require extensive use of machine learning concepts. Second thing is that we can predict the disease from medical image. Now, medical image is a, a really imp interesting topic. Now, for example, a patient has a cancer a patient has a cancer right he has a cancer cell so through using through the use of machine learning and through the use of image processing you can uh, you you can tell that whether this patient has a cancer or not so there is an extensive use of machine learning in that particular field third thing is the product recommendations now you might have heard, seen that when you shop uh, anything from amazon right suppose you shop a keyboard so the next day you will get a bunch of ads regarding the keyboard set or when you search that thing so you get a bunch of results regarding the keyboards so that is what machine learning does there is a machine learning algorithm behind this which is used as a process to actually recommend products to the customers which would further you know marketize their particular company right so fourth thing is email spam and filtering now i already told that how does the gmail uses machine learning in order to separate the mails which are genuine and say, set the mails which are ungenuine, right? And it filters it and sends you to inbox which are the correct mails, which are the authorized mails, whereas um, the unauthorized mails goes on to the spam folder. So there are a lot more applications of machine learning. In our upcoming lectures, we will do a detailed project on those and uh, we will learn what exactly are the other algorithms of machine learning. So that's it for this session. Thank you for joining.